the Yarra Ranges to meet world-renowned chainsaw sculptor and our very own Rob Bast. He's been waving the flag for us internationally and we thought we'd go and pay him a visit. Rob, thanks for joining us here at Yarra Rangers Life TV. No worries at all, Pat. Yep, thank you. Now, mate, how does a, a local boy like yourself discover his talent for carving? Um, it was back in 2003. I was working with my sister at the, at the Elmore Field Day. Um, she had a catering business at the time, and um, I saw some guys carving there. And I thought, well, I want to do that. Yes. And um, I spoke to the guys there. They you know, gave me a few hints and tips and that sort of thing because they were Canadian carvers. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I couldn't sort of get any tutelage from them. Um, but then, yeah, through other friends, I found um, another carver who was local uh, to the valley, Alan mm -hmm. Ridley, and um, got onto him and he taught me some stuff and mentored me for a bit. And um, then, yeah, I met a bunch of other carvers up at uh, Seymour at the expo there. and. The rest is history. The so rest is history. Yeah, so yeah. since 2002 you've been carving. Well, 2003. So yeah. 2003. Yeah. So 13 years later? Still loving it. Still loving it. Yeah. yeah. And I believe dream. your skill and your craft has taken you around the world. I used the word world, world renowned before because you've travelled a few different places all over the place. I have. I have. Um, I've been lucky enough to be invited to um, two of the biggest competitions in the world, um, being uh, Chetwin Ch Chainsaw Carving Championships in uh, British Columbia in Canada and uh, also the Husky Cup in Germany. Fantastic. Um, I believe you've been to Canada a couple of times now. Um, been three times. Three uh, times. Twice for the Chetwin Chainsaw Carving Championship uh, and one for a festival in, on in Ontario. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and also done a bit of um, America and that sort of thing. A couple of competitions there. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's been you know, a great challenge and, and yeah, had some success there as well. Fantastic. Yeah. And I believe um, you, some of those Canadian carvers, um, have you've lured them back to, to Australia to do some carving up at Sky High. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've had a, a few of the Canadian carvers over here. Um, we've got another one coming again uh, next year. It's Paul Frenette. Mm -hmm. um, but I've had Steve Gonzora uh, and Ryan Cook. And yeah, it's been fantastic having them over here. And Primarily, um, you started off with wood carving, but you're now carving in all kinds of different stuff. I actually started in metal sculpture. Is that and right? Yeah, there you go. That's, that's, that's my boil making heritage. Yep. Um, and then uh, I carved with my brother Danny, and mm -hmm. uh, sorry, sculpted with my brother Danny <laughs> in the metal. And then um, after seeing the chainsaw carving, I yeah took that up. And then from that, I went into ice carving. And what is your favorite medium? Oh, look, I'd have to say the wood. Um, it, it's. I don't know. It, I, I like it because it's fast. Yes. Um, yeah, I can't sort of muck around too long. I, I've got to get into it and, and get it done. If I was doing it hammer and chisel, it'd take me months. But you know, I can turn things over in a couple of days, and it, and you know, we'd be happy with the result. Yeah, fantastic. Now, I've been lucky enough to see Rob carving up at Sky High. You were at uh, Sky High last year as well. I was. And um, now Sky High is coming up again, isn't it? What's the it official the, the, the title of this um, exhibition? Um, it's the Australian Chainsaw Carving Championships. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been sponsored by Still Australia, and it's you know we've had a lot of success over the past years, and it, it just seems to be going from strength to strength. So it's it's a great event. Um, we usually have a 50-50 mix of um, domestic and international carvers. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, you know, chainsaw carving is still fairly small in Australia, so we don't have huge numbers of, of carvers, but, you know, we've got a, a pretty good core um, group of, of carvers, so, you know, and then plus the internationals are, are itching to get over here, so of course it's great. They are. Yeah. yeah, and I noticed that there's um, a, lot of, a lot of the girls are getting into it now too. Absolutely. Look, they have been for a long time, Pat, um, and, and one of the, the, I suppose, key female carvers that we've had in Australia is uh, Angie Polglaze, and, and she always does a, a, a sort of great job, you know. Mm -hmm. she, she's really flamboyant and fun, um, and yeah, she, she puts a lot of heart and soul into her pieces, and, and, and you know, it's a little quirky, and, but the, and she puts a lot of colour into her pieces, and um, yeah, they really pop. Fantastic, fantastic. Look, Rob, appreciate your time with us today at Yarra Rangers Life TV. Keep on coming. Thanks, Zach. Thank you. Thank you.